Welcome back to P2 Aero and the Yamaha 998 Turbo Powered Rans S21 project. Progress is still a bit stagnant, but I have managed to get a few things done this week. It's all in preparation for finalizing the rest of the firewall forward, and I wanted to get anything that needed to be in place on the firewall that I didn't want to change from a factory install. In this video, I'll be installing the brake fluid reservoir and the parking brake valve. Since the kit includes a very nice set of pre-made lines for the brake system, I wanted to stay with the factory layout on these things so I could use those lines. With those things in place, I can work around their location when designing the coolant, oil, and exhaust systems. Rance does an outstanding job designing these kits. It's not until you deviate from the plans like I did here on the firewall electrical pass-through that you run into fitment issues. I ended up taking a bit off the edge of this reservoir bracket to let things align correctly. No big deal, but it's something to keep in mind. Anything you change it will most likely affect something else later on down the road, so know what you're getting into. Now it does appear like the factory did pre-drill the mounting holes for the parking brake, but it's a bit close to the center line of the aircraft, and it causes the 90 degree AN fittings to interfere with the diagonal cross tubes. Comparing locations with some factory photos, it looks to me like it's an inch or so off with where they're mounting theirs. I did reach out to the factory, and I'm sure they'll get it corrected on future builds if they hadn't already done so. The pictures did show the rudder pedals in place, and I determined that there's ample clearance to shift things over but if any of you guys are further along, let me know what your thoughts are. There's also a bracket to secure the pool cable mounted just above the valve, but I decided that it just wasn't worth the hassle, so I just marked it, and I'll work around that area just as easy. As for the unused holes, if I don't use them for something else along the way, I'll just throw some bolts in it later. After the T-fitting and the brake line for the reservoir, I moved on to temp installing the boot cowl and the cowl strips. Again, the goal is to make sure that I don't mount something else in a place that might interfere with this stuff. I did a detailed video on the fit-up of these panels, so if you want more information on that stuff, go look in the earlier videos. This lower section of cow strip won't fit under the engine mount base, so I marked the mount so I'd remember to clearance it when it comes off again.
one other thing got done recently. I did a bit of rearranging in my garage. It's storm season here, so I wanted to be able to get my truck in the garage if I needed to. No one likes having a truck that looks like a golf ball because of hail damage. I tore down the shelf that I made out of the shipping crate and moved things around a bit so that it all fit in. I love the way this thing looks with all the skins installed on it, and I'm excited to take on the next step as it gets me closer to finishing this engine install. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.